Good morning, children of the Most High, and welcome to another beautiful edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Welcome to the beautiful month of November. Today is November the 1st, and our men of God would like to share a message entitled Courage for the Gospel. Our opening scripture is from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9, and I read, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Hallelujah! Courage is the ability and will to do or stand for what is right or necessary, even in the face of adversity or opposition. It is the ability to face danger and opposition fearlessly and affirm your faith in Christ, no matter the adversaries or adversities that you face. It is a virtue everyone in Christ has been granted, but not every Christian manifests it. A person of courage understands that every opposition is an opportunity for progress and victory. Courage is what got the Church of Jesus Christ to where it is today. Had the apostles and prophets of old not exhibit courage by standing for what was right in spite of opposition, the gospel may never have gone around the world and got to us at the time it did. They were not afraid of kings and despots, and they sure weren't afraid to die. They were strong and very courageous. Paul, in his letter to the church in Thessalonica, recounted how he and some others demonstrated great courage to preach the gospel despite fierce opposition. He said in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 2, You know how badly we had been treated at Philippi just before we came to you and how much we suffered there. Yet God gave us the courage to boldly repeat the same message to you, even though we were surrounded by enemies. People of courage keep their focus on what they believe in, and nothing is too big for them to give or do in pursuit of their convictions. Therefore, set your mind on the Lord and His Word, and be ever ready to do anything for the furtherance of the Gospel. Hallelujah! My brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this confession right after me. I am strong and of a good courage. I am ordained of God to preach the unsearchable riches of Christ, to minister life, to strengthen others, and bring them into God's light. Therefore, no matter the tests, trials, opposition, adversaries, I maintain my solid front in Christ, that inner fortitude to make the gospel known at any cost. I am courageous with the boldness of the Spirit in increasing measure. Hallelujah! My brothers and sisters, I highly recommend that you take some time today to study these following scriptures. From the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verses 14 to 15, the book of Acts chapter 18 verses 9 to 10, and from the book of Joshua chapter 1 verses 5 to 6. Glory be to God! There you go, my brothers and sisters. Have the courage for the furtherance of the gospel. Fear nothing. Tune in again tomorrow for another explosive message from a man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. You are blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. 
Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.